All right. What is up, tycoons? What's up, traders? Super excited for today's video. We're going to have to talk about intuitive machines, Lunar, okay? Ticker symbol L-U-N-R. This is a moonshot bet on the future of space exploration, and speculators can bet on a rocket ride in 2023 with Lunar stock. Intuitive Machines is an intriguing investment in space exploration infrastructure. It's encouraging that Intuitive Machines completed structural testing on its lunar lander. Investors can own a few shares of lunar stock as long as they accept the risks involved. So we're going to dive into lunar stock a little bit. It recently uh, just went public via a SPAC. Uh, we're also going to dive into the charts and go over some technical analysis on it and some of the key levels uh, that it could reach both to the upside or to the downside in case we get a breakout or a breakdown. So make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And remember, none of this video is financial advice, just going over some of the data and uh, presenting some information for you guys for free on YouTube. Now, <clears throat> right here, we have the one hour chart. OK, and you can see it's actually been on this downtrend falling. The RSI is in a bearish channel. Uh, we have a breakdown level and some bearish price targets here if we continue to fall lower. But we also have the breakout level bullish price targets in our major overhead supply zone. We'll get into this chart a little bit more and I'll break it down so it's clearer for you guys. But let's go into what's happening with Lunar Stock. So after, in, after enacting a business combination with special purpose acquisition company, a SPAC, Inflection Point Acquisition Corp, Intuitive Machines became available for trading at around $10 per share. Then Lunar Stock uh, catapulted above $100 before retracing back to $12 and some change. Now, clearly, there's risk involved if you're planning to invest in intuitive machines. However, there may be a share price recovery in store based on the demand for space exploration infrastructure. Some of that demand could actually come from the U.S. government. As Canaccord Genu uh, Genuity analyst Austin Moeller explains, Intuitive Machines seeks to capitalize on NASA's rapid commercialization of its own space exploration operations. Furthermore, Moeller observed that NASA has already spent over $35 billion on the Artemis program. In addition to that, NASA anticipates spending another $50.5 billion through the Space Exploration Agency's fiscal year 2025. Intuitive Machine successfully tests its lunar landing equipment. Now, this is going to be big catalyst for these type of, uh, you know, space exploration or space stocks. Um, and, you know, a lot of these tests and these missions, whether they are complete or whether they are a failure, if they're successful or not, is a lot of times going to be a really big catalyst either to the upside or to the downside. So along with a buy rating, Moeller assigned an ambitious $35 price target to Lunar Stock. Could this be too optimistic? Perhaps not, as Intuitive Machines is already demonstrating progress in advancing its space infrastructure technology. In a recent press release, Intuitive Machines announced that its lunar lander, known as Nova C, has completed all structural testing, paving the way for the company's first mission to the moon later this year, guys. This year, they're going to the moon. Will the stock market go to the moon? Probably not. This, of course, a milestone moment for Intuitive Machines. Now that the structural testing for Nova C has been achieved, Intuitive Machines CEO Steve Aldemus anticipates that a launch will take place later this year. The successful testing of Nova C was a necessary step toward this objective, as it ensures the payloads and spacecraft subsystems can withstand the vibrations of launch. Ready to shoot for the stars and try out an exciting space race stock? Check out Intuitive Machines, ticker symbol LUNR. It's a relatively small company that could become a household name someday. Lunar stock is high risk, uh, but could take flight this year. So now is the time to consider a moderately sized share position. Intuitive Machines is based in Texas and specializes in space exploration infrastructure. Furthermore, the company supports human and robotic exploration in space, potentially including landing on the moon and Mars. Space exploration companies involve risks due to the possibility of equipment and mission failure. Therefore, don't go overboard buying shares of intuitive machines. Instead, feel free to explore intuitive machines and, if you're ready, consider a moderately sized stock allocation today. Now, this is the daily chart right here. And you guys can see uh, when we talked about how it, you know, it started off here in the $10 range and then it just absolutely exploded, guys, up past 100. And it started to retrace now. And we're putting in a little bit of this descending triangle pattern. 
uh, which typically this is a bearish pattern. Um, so we're going to see actually what happens here. There is actually a chance for a breakout to the upside, but there's some really big levels that could slap us back down if we get a breakout and we get a look above and fail. So look above and fail is significant because on a breakout, bulls are presented the opportunity to really ultimately push price much higher. But if they simply get a breakout and get rejected at these three major levels right here, it's going to show that rather than bulls taking uh, advantage of the opportunity when presented, the sellers and the bears were actually in control and able to push price back lower. And that would be a bearish signal. So that's something that I'll be paying attention to when it comes to the daily chart. Now, if we go down to our one hour chart, we can actually break down some of the levels and the price action a lot more. There's a, a little bit of a cleaner structure. And so um, we're getting near to putting in a double bottom uh, right over here. You can see we put in a bottom here and then we put in a bottom here um, and we're starting to bounce right here at this 1031 level. Now, if we break 1031, that's going to be my breakdown level. And most likely we're going to head down to about eight dollars and seventy nine cents or seven dollars and seventy six cents. Those are going to be my bearish price targets right here. And we could just chop and consolidate in this area from about 1031 up to 1256. OK, now, if we break out above 1256, we have some bullish price targets here of 1362 and 1428. Uh, and ultimately, if we can break out past those bullish price targets, we have a big supply zone up here where uh, they may try to grab liquidity for the next move, whether that's up or back down. But remember, a supply zone is an area where there's an imbalance of sell orders. Uh, that pushes price lower. So most likely this supply zone in between about 15 and $16 is going to be a really, really big um, liquidity grab area if we are able to get past our breakout level and past the first initial two bullish price targets. You can see here as well on the RSI, we are trading in a bearish channel right now. Now we are above the uh, midway point. This white dotted line right here is going to be the middle of this bearish channel. Um, and so that could turn into a little bit of a support and we could trend back upwards and try to get a breakout of this bearish channel. Uh, if we pay close attention to the MACD, uh, it's trying to make a move right here. OK, so it's actually right. The red line is right here with the blue line. Uh, a lot of times whenever you see a cross to the upside or to the downside, for instance, here we got a cross to the upside. There was a nice upwards push here. We got across to the downside and you can see there was a nice downwards push. Oftentimes this can be used as a uh, entry or exit signal. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see, does this thing curl up and could we actually start to uh, find some support there at 1031 and try to go up closer to our initial breakout level of 1256. Um, that's pretty much going to be it for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think about Lunar down below in the comments. Um, interested to hear, you know, do you guys think that this is a buy? Do you think that this is a screaming sell and that, you know, anything space uh, related is a sell right now because of the market environment, because of interest rates, because of, you know, just the bear market that we've been in? Let me know your thoughts below. Smash that like button and subscribe to the channel.